Prostate cancer is a worldwide phenomenon and death rates vary significantly across the world. It's not just one disease, it's, it's a variety of diseases occurring in a variety of different people. There's a lot of populations which have a very heavy burden, a very high mortality, and we think that can be reduced by efficient and effective early detection strategy. If you go back two decades ago, 30% of men who presented with prostate cancer presented with disease beyond the prostate in the bone or lymph nodes. Now that number has dropped to 2 to 5%. So remarkable stage migration. The mortality rates have dropped significantly, almost 40%. So today we're seeing a completely different disease today than we saw two decades ago. UCSF has a strong record of both publication, clinical trial development and execution, uh, and uh, comprehensive and coordinated care of, of men with all stages of prostate cancer. I think more recently we've shown uh, remarkable strides in the whole concept of active surveillance, you know, which men really require treatment, and very important contributions in the care of men with very advanced disease. Some of the, some of the early pivotal trials were done here at UCSF and these new drugs which have been uh, recently approved by the FDA. Prostate cancer is a spectrum of disease, everything from small volume, low grade disease, which may need no treatment at all, to men who present with very advanced or metastatic disease. So I think it'll never be just one drug. We'll look at the individual patient, their preferences, their genetic makeup, the genetic makeup of the cancer and its extent, and then we'll prescribe a treatment modality that'll be specific for that cancer in that patient. Will we have a cure in one year, two years? Probably not, but progress is accelerating. I think this disease is changing in front of us. The options for men are changing. If you go back 10 or 15 years ago, we had three treatments. Nowadays, uh, we have many treatments. So I think the, the uh, future for men with prostate cancer looks very bright. I may not have said that 15 or 20 years ago, but I think this is one of the most exciting years for prostate cancer. The September beard seems like a great concept to me. It's, it's a great way to bring attention to this disease, enthusiasm, end of the day, raise, raise money for an important research cause. My sense is that September will only grow. I think the money is going to be one, one part of it. I think the information it will give to men, the hope it will give to men and their families, and will inspire both physicians and patients and their families.